This video will walk you through how to write your two roads essay. Our focus question that we are answering in this essay is, should Cal return to Chilagi Industrial School? Remember at the end of the book, he was making the decision if he should go or not go. And in this paper, you are going to take a position that yes, he should return to Chilagi Industrial School or no, he should not. The first thing you are going to write is an introduction paragraph. Here are the four components of your first paragraph. Feel free to pause this video at any point. The first thing you need is a hook to draw your reader in. This is one sentence that captures your reader's attention. Next, you need to give context of the book. Anyone should be able to understand your essay whether or not they have read the book Two Roads. So you need to include a four to five sentence summary that also includes the title of the book, which is Two Roads, and the author, Joseph Bruchok. After you have written your four to five sentence summary, you are going to write one sentence that states your position. This is either going to be, yes, Cal should return to Chilagi Indian School, or no, Cal should not return to Chilagi Ind Indian School. The last sentence of your paragraph are two reasons that you will prove in this essay. So what are two reasons that support your position? Here's an example of an introduction paragraph. After years of living on the road with his son, Cal, camping and hopping trains, Pop tells Cal that he plans to go to Washington, D.C. In Joseph Bruchok's historical fiction novel, Two Roads, Pop is a war veteran and, like many other veterans at the time, he is being mistreated by the government. Pop wants to participate in a large campaign to help veterans receive the money that the government owes them for their service. Pop warns Cal that the campaign might be dangerous and that Cal is not yet ready to be a part of any army, like the one fighting in Washington. Therefore, Cal cannot join him. Instead, Cal must attend Chilagi Industrial School while Pop is away. Pop says that this will be a good opportunity for Cal to continue his education and make friends. Although Cal feels nervous and sad that he cannot go with his father, Pop should not bring Cal to Washington with him. The events in Washington are not appropriate for Cal to attend, and spending time in Chilagi is a better alternative for him. That was the example paragraph, but it's worth noting that this essay that we use for the model is answering a different focus question. The model focus question is, should Cal go find Pop in Washington, D.C.? So while this is going to be the same format, this is again answering a different question. So pause and write your introduction paragraph example, going back and using this checklist. Your word goal for day one is 100 to 150 words. Once you finish your introduction paragraph, day two will be writing the proof paragraph number one. This is a paragraph that elaborates on your first reason that you wrote in your introduction paragraph. Here's what your proof paragraph number one needs. It needs a sentence that states your first reason that supports your position. So what is the first reason why you think Cal should go back to Chilagi or should not go back to Chilagi? You need two pieces of evidence to support that reason. In the planner that we worked on last week, these pieces of text evidence are in colorful boxes on the top part of the planner. If you do not have this link, please send Mrs. Vogel a chat on Teams and I will get you the link to that planner because that will be important to use for the rest of the essay. When you're including uh, pieces of text evidence, make sure you include quotation marks and the page numbers. Those can be found on that planner that I just referenced. For each piece of evidence, you then need a sentence that explains a reasoning for that piece of evidence. 
In other words, use your own words to explain why that piece of evidence supports your reason. And then the last sentence of this paragraph restates your first reason. It wraps it up by re reminding the readers what reason you just discussed. For this paragraph, you should have about 150 words. That will put your paper at 200 to 300 words total so far.